very lethargic offense. They try to make you make a mistake, but they don't score many points, Chris. Reed for three. Good. And an early lead for Merrimack about a minute and a half in. Who can spin on a dime like he can. Ziggy Reed oh. gets another one from the top of the key. Uh, I've already put it behind you me. Moved. Okay, that's right. <laughs> good, good job. Good job. What a tough drive and finish by Xavier Johnson, the pit transfer, his first bucket of the game. Remember, Jordan Miner was fouled on a field goal attempt inside. Trace Jackson Davis, too strong. Race Thompson there to pick up his roommate, put it in, and the foul. Rob Finnessy on the floor as well for Indiana. Joined by Anthony Leal. Geronimo, 15-footer, good. Over halfway through the first half. Indiana looking to bounce back from a tough conference loss to Wisconsin. And Merrimack needed that. Malik Edmead, the sophomore from Deer Park, New York, with the triple. He's only put up one three-pointer. That was nearly his second. Lead 10 for Indiana. Gorgeous pass to Jordan Miner. On the drive, Edmead kick into the corner. Reed had all day to line that one up, and he drains another. Jordan Miner tries it again on Trace Jackson Davis. Who turns him away? TJD is averaging over three blocks per game. He just got two. Thompson. After the double team comes, Finnessy, open lane, TJD with the finish. Up to Trace Jackson Davis, let the big man run the floor. But Indiana still has not won in Madison since 1998. Three seconds until halftime, three-pointer off the rim. Michael Daring couldn't drop it down, but wait a second. The bucket counts. Stewart, Johnson entry feed Thompson. And he's now four for four from the floor with another free throw on the way. Trace Jackson Davis saves the missed free throw and Miller hits the three. How'd you like the heavy lifting there? It's Mikey Watkins and Johnson still a pest in this half court set for Merrimack. Jordan Miner with the answer from the corner. Parker Stewart dropped off to Race Thompson, who's fouled and goes to the line. That's the third and one Race Thompson has garnered today. And Indiana with a chance to put Merrimack in the rear view here. Five minutes and change into the second half. Xavier Johnson, elbow, good. And it also missed the outstretched reach of Trace Jackson Davis, but just an off-target shot. And it goes to TJD. He uses the glass the right way. It's going to start with the defensive end, good recruiting, shooting, but I love being in that arena, and I'll be there in a few weeks, I think. I'm going to shoot some baskets. Great pass. How on earth did Race Thompson put that in? Bates, in it goes to Finnessy. Jump stop, and thrown up to Trace Jackson Davis. Hooked into the corner to Jordan McCoy. Kansan from deep, six points for McCoy. It says his name somewhere on the sheet. I have no idea who he is. Oh, I, I, I knew it rang a bell. It's our producer today. Doing great, Tony. We love you. And Andrew Blaustein, our director. And Indiana fans love that three-point shot from Tamar Bates. An NBA coach as a head coach or an assistant. He's doing three, sometimes four scouts a week. Tip back up and in by Geronimo. And a foul. I thought the conversation was fascinating when I asked him about the difference late in games, Chris, when you have NBA point guards. Ten on the shot clock. Elbow, Geronimo! Down the well. As Leal drives and kicks out to Bates, Geronimo got yeah. it. The difference in coaching style and his demeanor, really, between the NBA level and, and the college level. Blocked Ryan Miller. Convincing non-conference win going into finals week for the men's basketball team.
They'll hit the floor again for an outstanding Hoosier State showdown against Notre Dame. 81-49, the final score.